Okay, this is everything I thrifted for my birthday. We're gonna do a try on haul, starting with the dresses and yeah. It's a big gold haul today, guys. And some of this stuff is stuff that my sister got for me for my birthday from the thrift store. And then some of this stuff is from the Goodwill bins. And a good portion is also from local thrift stores in my area. So yeah, let's dive right in. So we're gonna start off very strong with this beautiful, beautiful dress. That's a little sundress that my sister got me for my birthday from a local thrift store in New York City. And I'm so excited to wear it every single day because it's so beautiful and it's so flattering. Let me try it on for you guys. My sister thrifted this for me from a local New York City thrift store and it's just so pretty and I just feel so elegant and pretty and they go so well with my Adidas Sambas. And then the next dress is actually a Princess Polly dress. My sister bought this from Buffalo Exchange, I think. Let's try on this bad boy. And this is... I'm hoping it backwards. I think that this shrank in the wash. But, um, picture it longer. What the hell? Yeah, it shrank. It definitely shrank. I didn't even put it in the dryer or anything. Oh. Well, that's a bummer. I actually got this dress from ThreadUp and it's such a great find. It fits so well. And I love wearing this with my Doc Martens. And I also got this other Randy Melville dress from ThreadUp, which is such a great find. It's so cute and I love the way the color looks on my skin tone. And up next is this wonderful free people dress. This is where I realized that my bra straps were showing and I felt very self-conscious. My sister actually found this for me for my birthday as well. And I think she bought it from Buffalo Exchange, I'm not sure. Up next, we have this beautiful beach vacation dress. And this is me, maladaptive daydreaming as always, pretending that I'm in, actually in Cabo instead of at home. And it's just so cute and it feels like it has like a towel type material so it's great for after swimming. And here's a romper that I was far too lazy to try on. This is my white mom goes to a school dance in a teenage movie outfit. Or this could be like a 90s teenager. Either or. Like with the Dark Martens, it's giving like 90s rom-com teen goes at her first date. I feel like not a lot of people are going to like this one, but I love it. It's actually one of my favorite finds. And this is me pretending that I'm a girl in a 90s rom-com and being taken home by her date. Yeah, this is hard to watch. This dress is actually really pretty. It's just really wrinkled from washing it and I didn't have time to iron it before filming. This top is also something I have to kind of defend. I don't know how you guys will feel about it, but I actually love it. It's very 70s. It's actually adorable and I've been watching Daisy Jones a lot lately. So I don't know, it just gave me the same feeling and I feel like th this top with flares would look really cute. We have this other beautiful 70s-esque top and it's so pretty and this is the part where I realized this top gave off Camilla Dunn vibes so obviously I had to whip out my old DSLR. Oh my gosh, I freaking love Daisy Jones by the way. When I added this vest, this is when I realized this was such a cute pairing. I have never really worn that vest before because I just bought it as an impulse buy. And you know what? It looks so good with this top. Here is a more modern Princess Polly looking top, but it's actually not from Princess Polly. I'm not sure where it's from. This is my favorite find. Beautiful skirt with the sambas. It's so cute. I actually didn't thrift this on my birthday. I thrifted this today and there was a thrift store nearby and... 
I saw this skirt and it was just so pretty and I just had to have it because look at this. The, these like little tabs, they're adjustable so that you can make the skirt tighter and looser around your waist. Look how beautiful. I feel so beautiful. This other skirt is so beautiful. It has this wonderful red pattern on it. And I actually like to only zip it up halfway so I could wear it more low-waisted because I think this skirt is supposed to sit like literally at your rib cage. Now we have this beautiful denim skirt that's so comfortable and soft and I really love wearing it with my sambas. And over here we have these wonderful low-rise flares that are so cute and they have this like little divot in the back and I also got this black pair of Calvin Klein's as well now these these are the true star of the show look at these vintage boot cut low-rise Hudson jeans this is such a great find because I found out that Hudson jeans cost like 180 to 280 200 dollar price range which is amazing and look at the backs of them look at this it's so cute look at this a little union jack ah oh, so hot these are so good these are so freaking good they fit so perfectly and they feel like leggings, I swear. They feel so nice. That's it. We're finally done with the video. I have to clean up this entire pile of clothes. So, yeah. Good luck to me, I guess. There's a lot here. There's also shoes in a no-shoes house. So I'm really panicked, but it's fine. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I just sat on one of my Doc Martin shoes and these things are so heavy. Time to put everything away because I feel like no one ever shows the aftermath of these little dress up thrift haul clothing hauls and whatnot because they're messy, which is why I almost never film them. I know that these types of videos tend to do well. I just am really lazy because they always lead to a giant mess in my room. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog because oh my god my thighs are so thick i hope that you guys enjoy this vlog because this took a while and also i was supposed to film when it was peak sunset hour but um my sister made me watch a 30 minute video so we lost all of the sunlight it's fine regular room lighting is okay i'm just gonna have to color correct it again later also if you guys were wondering like what the black top i was wearing for like the last half of the video was it's actually another thrifted tank top that is the brand bp which i believe is the basics brand that nordstrom carries so yeah so yeah i guess i'm gonna have to clean all of this stuff up